Hey guys, in this video, I'm quickly going to be talking about the recent update that Figma made, I think on the 29th of September with auto layout working with interactive components. So now you can actually have interactive components that live within an auto layout element and the auto layout is gonna behave properly. So as an example, we have this accordion component in front of you. And then if I add, uh, resize, you can see it resizes pretty well. Everything looks good and I can collapse them as well. So the auto layout functions really well. And this was something that was not possible before. So this is extremely powerful. Again, this is just one single frame. I can show it to you. This is just a single frame with an, with the, an interactive component. And I don't have different states for it. Let's, let's say in terms of frames, I just have that one component that's an interactive component. So it's really powerful. And there, another example of that would be, let's say, for example, if you have a chat messaging app and then you just want to show, let's say, uh, a replies behavior or something along those lines, then you can basically see that, for example, you get a reply and then you can view the replies and everything basically jumps up and down. You don't have to figure out. So the spacing, anything along those lines, you don't have to link multiple frames together to actually show this particular behavior. And all of that can actually be shown in just one screen. Similarly, for example, I've shown you two examples of horizontal auto layout. Oh, sorry, vertical auto layout elements. I'm going to show you one example of a horizontal one. So here, for example, we have a card on a post and then we have some actions. So now if I actually press the heart icon, as you can see, the comments icon moves to the right and this is how it works. So obviously all of these uh, components are linked. I basically have these two components. I've li linked them like this. You can say, okay, click. After I click on it, you want, I want this to change to some other thing and obviously so on and so forth. Similarly here, I can say um, what that particular interaction is going to be. And even here, for example, I can say that once I actually click on this button, uh, it needs to change to this particular component and I haven't added the back state. So let's just go ahead and do that right now. So now if I go ahead and click it again, as you can see, uh, the heart turns on and off. And that's pretty much it. This was a quick video letting you know that this is available in Figma now and you can start doing that instead of creating multiple frames. Do subscribe to hit the bell icon and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.